Jet Li versus Jason Statham. Have you ever watched an action movie and wondered just how tough guys like Jet Li or Jason Statham actually are? Some action stars are well-built actors and some are former athletes, but a few are actually trained fighting machines who have multiple black belts or fighting victories. Some are really powerful and some just look powerful. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at Jet Li and Jason Statham at the height of their careers and try and figure out who we think would win in a fight. But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Thanks! But for now, let's go back to Lee versus Statham. Firstly, let's start with Lee Lianji, better known as Jet Li. Born on the 26th of April 1963 in Beijing, China, the youngest of five children and a very fast learner when it came to martial arts. At the age of eight, he entered a summer sports program and was randomly assigned to a wushu class. By the age of nine, he received an award at the first wushu competition held in China since the Cultural Revolution. Lee spent half of each day training and half in school before he began to train full time. He quickly stood out among his peers in the sport, joining the Beijing Wushu team, which performed a display at the All China Games. This led the young athlete to compete against adults, becoming the national all around champion from 1975 to 1979, from the ages of just 12 to 16. According to Lee, once, as a child, when the Chinese national wushu team went to perform for President Nixon in the United States, he was asked by Nixon to be his bodyguard. Lee replied, I don't want to protect any individual. When I grow up, I want to defend my one billion Chinese countrymen. Lee is a master of several styles of wushu, especially Cheng Quan, which is northern long fist style, and Fanzaquan, meaning tumbling fist. He has also studied other arts, including Tai Chi, Eight Trigram Palm, Supreme Ultimate Fist, Shape and Tent Fist, Drunken Fist, Eagle Claw Fist, and Praying Mantis Fist. He also mastered Wushu's main weapons, such as the Three Section Staff, the Broadsword, and the Straight Sword. By making a name for himself as someone with fast hand movements and the nationwide fame he gained from participating in the sport, Lee used inspiration from Bruce Lee and sought out a career in cinema as a martial arts film star, acquiring his screen name in 1982 when production companies thought his real name, Lee Lianji, was too hard to pronounce. It wouldn't take long for the sports star to gain cinematic acclaim either, making his film debut in 1982 with the Chinese movie Shaolin Temple, which broke box office records in China, grossing 85,376,199 US dollars from an estimated 500 million ticket sales. This was the first of many films made for the Chinese audience before making his international film debut in 1998 with Lethal Weapon 4, alongside Mel Gibson, Joe Pesci, Chris Rock, and Danny Glover. This wasn't the only Western martial art film for Lee. There were many others to come, including a number of collaborations with Jason Statham. Sadly, injuries have followed Jet Li's career. He was famously quoted as saying, I'm in pain, but I'm not in a wheelchair yet, which was a nod to the injuries over the years. We are now at the halfway mark, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now back to our two actors. Now let's take a look at Jason Statham. Statham was born on the 26th of July, 1967, in the north of England. During his school years, his passions were to become football and swimming, but especially diving. This was to see him become a member of Britain's national swimming squad for 12 years, 
and take part in the 1990 Commonwealth Games, competing for England in the 10-meter, 3-meter, and 1-meter competitions. Alongside this, in his spare time, Statham began training in martial arts and practiced Wing Chun, Karate, and kickboxing for a few years. All of this contributed to his great physical shape. It was during a diving training session in a sports arena in London that Statham was first spotted by a sports modeling agency. This was to be the start of recognition for Statham, first starting off as a model and appearing in music videos, and by 1998, becoming an actor. It was thanks to director Guy Ritchie that Statham got his first acting role in the comedy thriller Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Since then, Statham has appeared in many films, most of which being action movies of some kind. But his first martial arts action movie, The One, was in 2001 and was the first of many projects he worked on with Jet Li. Statham's name has become so closely associated with the action genre that anyone who watches a film featuring him knows exactly what to expect. While Jason's stunts often look too good to be true, he actually does most of his own, meaning every crazy trick you see in his films are done entirely by him. His ability to make these stunts look so natural is thanks to his discipline to keeping himself fit and his training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which he took up during his acting career. If that's not enough, he also enjoys wakeboarding, jet skiing, windsurfing, and rock climbing in his spare time. So now to that all important question, which of these two guys would win in a fight if they were still at the height of their careers? Well, we know that only one of these guys has won in competitive martial arts. Jet Li proved himself to be a wushu prodigy. At a very young age, he was winning wushu competitions against grown adults, resulting in winning the men's gold medal at the national championships five years in a row. He is highly skilled in many different forms and styles of wushu, which he ably demonstrates in his many films. With his lightning speed and agility, he had to take great care whilst filming not to injure his fellow actors. That being said, Jason Statham is certainly an accomplished martial artist, but unlike Jet Li, has not won any titles. Nonetheless, anyone with a couple of years of kickboxing or karate under their belt will be able to handle themselves in most self-defense situations. He has trained since his teenage years and has done it on and off as an adult due to his busy work schedule. In terms of striking, he can kickbox and nose karate. In terms of grappling, he has also trained Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for a few years, so he knows his stuff. In conclusion, Jason Statham genuinely knows how to fight and is not to be messed with. However, he is not on the level of a professional martial artist like Jet Li. So in our opinion, we believe that a fight between these two guys would see Jet Li coming out on top. Do you have a favorite out of the two? Which one do you think would win? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top fighting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.